It's the big day. It is a big day. We're gonna start this thing up for the first time since we got it in here. And I flew over the car, landed on the hood, and then fell onto the ground. Yeah. That looks pretty close. Smoking. Yeah, we'll just scuff the edges of this real what quick so that it's a there's nothing sharp. But yeah, it's got to get caught even lower because it's still hitting the sides here and here. I need that Dremel to charge up all the way though. It's the big day. It is a big day. We're going to start this thing up for the first time since we got it in here. There we go. So I'm gonna prime it a couple times. Hear it? Oh yeah. We'll do that a couple of times just to, just cause I think we should. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we stock Tygon tubing. If you need any length, just come in. I got a huge roll of it. I can give you 10 feet, I can give you a foot. This guy wanted three feet. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you're all good to go. Whatever you yeah. whatever you need. You can hang out with me too though if you want. Cool. Yeah, come look at my bike. So <laughs> give me some tips. <laughs> what kind of tips? I don't know. Well for one, I can never seem to get this handbrake and clutch set up exactly the way I want it. Hey, you know all about these things. I do know all about this. The best bike ever, man. Hey, I can never ride this. I need I, it, I because your hand hits. You yeah, can't you're hold it, right? You're smashing your fingers. Yeah. You got it all set up all goofy. These need to be moved apart more. You want that end of your finger to be- How do you the, get it in further when the bars taper out? It's a, it's a fucked up situation. Yeah, I used to run similar bars to this. You're a little leaky, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's um, dishwasher hose. One foot won't go from here to there. So that's why I'm gonna redo that. This one's a pinch. Hey, you know what you can maybe do is flip this to the bottom of this. I put the banjo on the top. Put the banjo on the bottom uh, of your clutch, you know what I mean? Try doing that. And then you'll be able to move them around more. It's it like, takes a lot of playing with it. Yep. To get them set up. This is such an old cage. Yep. This thing innovations. We've never crashed on it either. Nope. Do you have any of these Zumas for sale? That periwinkle one. Bone stock, that's the hardest color Zuma that you can possibly find. I've seen two in three years and I bought both of them. They're really rare, those ones. That's an 89, it's a bone stock. I gotta get a mini. I'm looking for two grand for that thing. Get the periwinkle. That, dude, that's a hot unit. I, and I do the Scooter Squad starter pack starting at 495. That's a steal. A smoking deal, you get a pipe, you get the jet kit, you get all the, all the variator work, you get to go fast, you get to come ride with the boys. Yeah. No, they're fun, man. I've been uh, like addicted to scooters for the last two years, it seems like. I don't know what's gotten into me. I don't know, I, I think it's stolen. I gotta get him with this angle. He always stands like that. What's he saying? I can't do it. I don't trust you. He said this one came back legit. Yeah, legit now. Yeah. You come all the way from Aurora? Nah, we are, we are downtown, like on Union. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure we saw a couple of bikes from over here. We do it all. Good to go. Most definitely down. What's your name? My name is Mike, man. Mike? I'm Mike Nick. <laughs> nice to meet you. Follow me on Snapchat. For Snapchat? Yeah. What's your Snapchat? Speaking to the mic. Oh, check this out. Damn. Holy it was in my pocket. It stayed in my oh. pocket the whole time. So something yeah. hit my leg. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, like, yeah. I feel like I just ran a marathon. I was cruising with some boys and I was going down the street in my lane and all of a sudden this white sedan just 
bossy U-turn right in front of me, parallel with there like this, and I'm coming this way. They had just started turning, and I hit the front of their hood, and I just, like, it was like that, and I flew over the car, landed on the hood, and fell onto the ground. Yeah. There was a lady in the on the on the waiting for a bus, and she was just screaming. She thought because she thought I died. Yeah. The car just took off, almost ran me over in the process of taking off, trying to flee. I just got up, Mike got my bike, and we dipped because the car did. So mm -hmm. I don't remember getting up. I don't remember the car leaving. I just remember landing on, hitting, landing on the hood, did, landing on the ground. Did they say she dipped like right away, the other driver? Yeah. Yeah. Was, they, they said they dipped so fast they almost ran me over. Like, they told me to lay down, so I was just laying there like talking to bystanders. I was like, was that my fault? Everyone said, not my fault. I don't remember it. Oh, here, check this out. Here's my phone. That's like a literal 45 degree bend, and it still works. Wait, well, yeah, it's still it's still, it's still, <laughs> It works what? perfect. Dude, like, that's nuts. Not a plug for Apple. Samsung spent like a million dollars on that curve technology. Right? You just did it free, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you just put your phone in your pocket, get hit by a car right here. That could have saved my leg, low-key, though. I'm alive right now. I'm just happy yeah. That's the that. that's the biggest thing. Yeah, for really, it's good that the bike's like okay too. But like, yeah, for sure. Mike started first kick. That's Honda for you. That is a plug for Honda, <laughs> not for Apple, but for Honda. I'll give Honda. That. So this morning I have been working on reassembling the bike. Uh, I just started putting the cages on. Cox cages, super nice. You hardly have to do anything to your plastics to get them on. All that I did do was just kind of take a little bit off the bottom of this plastic right here with my Dremel tool. Really a lot of cages you need to bust out like a hole saw and drill through them in a couple places to get the cages to go on. This is actually really easy because all you got to do is take a little bit off the bottom here. This way the cage fits in there nice and snug. Otherwise it's gonna push up on here real hard. You could probably get away with not taking any off the bottom, but it's gonna sit in there a lot nicer if you do. So we got to put the all thread through this one and then finish putting the crossbar on and then I can get into the other side and then put his pucks in and hopefully we can maybe ride this thing today. But I have to put the chain on still, put his spools on, really give the thing a good once over and make sure everything is as it should be. Right now I'm putting the crossbar in. Again, super straightforward. Cox is great. It just slid through the back side. I'm gonna put this nice Allen bolt through and uh, then we can do this side and pop the other side of the cage on. Super smooth cage install. Super easy, super straightforward. Cox. Really, cages are sometimes a pain in the ass to get all lined up and put on right, but this has just been a little too easy. Cox, if you could go ahead and make your cages a little harder to install, that'd be great. Matt Glass Cox, if you're watching this, please make your cages harder to put on because I charge by the hour and I need to take more time. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I gotta take this side too. So you get these little set screws to hold your pucks in. I just learned that word today from Nick, set screw. That's what this is. And they just go in through little holes on the bottom of the cage and put pressure on the puck so that they can't slide out. 520 EK racing chain, I stock these. I have 520s, 525s, 530s, and all your master links in-house. If you ever need a chain, come see me. Um, I already started to cut it. I like to just use a grinder and grind the, grind the tips of the rivets off and then take them apart, it's faster for me. First try. Just like always, a perfect cut. I don't think I've ever cut it wrong. Hell, I wouldn't want to. Nick, it's just one. Who's that? Ah! Something spooky's going on at this guy, dude. So you want to make sure your tick marks are even on your swing arm. Peter's going to love it. I'm Bustin' and we're back with Pro Tips with Bustin'. Here's another pro tip. That's <laughs> all you say? What's, yeah. What's your pro tip? <laughs> with Halloween right on the corner, I'm on my toes. If you ever struggle putting grips on, use an air compressor. You don't need to put glue on them. You don't need to spit in them. You don't need to get them wet. You don't need to do anything weird. 
Just do this. I'm gonna have to cut the ends of these off. Forget to get these in there. These are from the Navajo Reservation. The lemon pepper snappers. Look at these things, dude. That's real fur. Uh -huh. This one? That's the one, that's us, that's me. <laughs> Damn, Damn man, you got 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, guys, subscribe this. Can you subscribe? Yeah, hell thank yeah. You. yeah. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. We're gonna switch to the sides, we're gonna have some more foods in here. We gotta come back, can we put our picture on the out. wall? Yeah. Oh sweet, I like that idea. It's people from the community, right? Yes sir. I yes, like sir. that. Yeah. You bring your picture, your, your kids, your grandkids, anyone. Awesome. Oh, 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 o